Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jimmy Bo 1000. Seven days to die, Alpha 19. Reanimated. And in today's episode, we're going to get on our new brand new mini bike. We're going to go and uncover as much of the map, as much of the town that we're in, which we've we've pretty much checked it all out. But um, there's also another town north of us here where we started off. So we're probably going to go check that out. We'll see where this main road goes out of town. Hopefully find somewhere cool to loot. Now, overnight, I have done some work on the base. I've got a kind of a roof. It's all, it's it's really the floor for, this, for the second floor. Um, just to cover us over because we was getting cold at night. Um, and I also upgraded another row of cobblestone. And got started around the windows uh just getting those upgraded i think i'm running out of cobblestone now yeah i've only got one more left so <laughs> we'll do that we'll use that up let's put away all these bits and pieces that we don't need um we'll get our new mini bike put it in our pocket and we'll go search around the town see what we can find and see if we can find a new town to loot because we've pretty much cleared this place out almost i mean there's a load of pois we haven't looted but i want to look for some of the new stuff and loot some of that so yeah hope you enjoy the episode guys if you do enjoy the episode don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to see more jimmy bow 1000 seven days to die alpha 19 hit the subscribe button let's get this show on the road now also while i was out during the night um i did find let's repair that i did find this uh improved fittings mod schematic so we're going to read that And I think we've got everything we need. Where's the gas? There we go. 2,400 gas. That's sweet. Let's get a place down there. Beautiful. Day 3 mini bike. Um, let's put some gas in it. And let's get out of here. Now if we look on the map, we're actually up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive and check we'll see where this main road goes to the east maybe it links up with this town if not we'll see what else we can find while we're out and around now like i said i did i have looted most of this place already um, most of the decent places i haven't seen any of the new pois in here while i've been running around but um maybe we'll find something that we didn't spot before um also this poi here so this POI here that um, I looted before, I totally missed some loot. Um, thanks for letting me know. Uh, I'm going to go up there now and grab it. I'm just going to smash the door down. Okay, yeah, and up this ladder. There's some loot. No? Ah. Oh. Okay, there's just a mold. Oh, okay, sweet. A scrap helmet. Um... Yeah, let's get our light mod out of there. And we'll put that into us into this scrap helmet. Now, I know this scrap armor is... I'm really suffering with stamina. And that's because... Oh, hang on. Okay. Maybe there's another little area up here. Look at that. Shotgun Messiah crate. Sweet. Let's see what's in here. Okay, another armor pocket mod. Um, what's that? A fortifying grip mod. Right, let's see if we can modify this stone axe. There we go. So what that does, that fortifying grip mod is, when your health is low, is below 50%, you gain one hit point every five seconds. So you basically heal. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. And what armor can we put this um, this on? Let's have a look. Okay, maybe we can put it straight onto the head. Yep, there we go. Sorted. Now, this place interests me um, because there is a cracker book in this place. Um, it's quite a big POI as well. Um, I'm not sure where you're supposed to start off in this place. Um, I do like to go through them you know the way you're meant to go through them uh i know you can just jump up to the roof with some frames or whatever but um i don't like doing that i like going through the place 
um, the way it was intended. I'm going to put away some of the stuff I'm carrying. Right, okay, and let's loot this place. Why not? We'll loot this place, we'll go see the trader, and then we'll go search around for somewhere new. Maybe we can find a new POI to loot. Good morning. Hello, mate. Mega crush, nice. Okay, we've got a decent amount of leather there out of those chairs. We'll scrap that and this and those chairs. Yeah, nice bit of leather in here. Um, oh, hello. Whoa, Jesus. Take it easy. Is that just going to be okay? Or maybe not. Okay, that's useful. I've got no idea where that's coming from. Let's shut that door, and we'll shut this door. Search these boxes. Okay, Spear Hunter, one of the new books. Spears degrade 20% slower. Oh, nice, some meat stew. Delicious. Oh, this guy's coming in from there. Okay, it's just Mo. What's up, Mo? Come on. In you come. Oh, okay, free duct tape. That's nice. Army truck. We'll search that. Some food. Good. Yeah, I don't think we were supposed to come out here yet. but Or maybe we were supposed to come out here first. Um, I'm not sure, but we're out here now. Oh, nice little neck found in there. We've gone seven days without an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. Safety in the workplace, eh? I don't know about that. Okay, a shelf. That's locked. Another Shamway crate. Coffee. Nothing up there. Okay. Oh, look at this. City vanished in blast of atom bomb. Wow, that's really good addition, man. These little things um, they really add to the immersion, I think. Okay, so we can't go up there. So where are we meant to go then? Out the window, perhaps. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, a soldier. Anyone else? Stupid zombies. Supposed to break through and scare me or something, I don't know. Okay, we're just going to scrap that hunting knife because, um,. We've already got one, and it's not worth much. It's not worth repairing either. Make a little bit more room as well. Are you sneaky little devil. Okay, we've got a working stiff crate. Okay, is that a better shovel? I think that is, you know. I think our one's a level three, so that could be useful. Got a backpack up here. Yeah, out you come, bro. I know you're going to bust through there. Come on. Supposed to come out here, mate. Oh, they set it up perfectly for you. Dumbass. Scrap that chair. We'll get a decent bit of iron out of that. Okay, Wasteland Treasures. We've already read that one. It looks like our mini bike's just out here, so we'll break through here. We'll unload some stuff in the mini bike, and then we'll carry on looting.
we've eaten one of these meat stews and it's given us a uh, a couple of buffs down here if we have a look we've got recovering health digesting food and we've got six minutes of max stamina well, our max stamina has been increased by 20 points for the next six minutes okay i guess that'd be really useful if you was mining and stuff um i just hit it, hit it because i was hungry um and it was the best thing i had in there so um, i thought it might fill me all the way up which it looks like it has so that's nice Money. Money. Right, okay, we've woke somebody up. Out you come then. Oh, there's a shotgun crate in there. Gonna grab that. Delicious shotgun crate. Okay, a couple of repair kits. Not too bad. Let's check this next one. Anything in here? Suitcase. Scrap helmet. Another chair, we'll scrap that down. In fact, let's scrap this one as well. And that scrap helmet, yeah, it's not worth a mega amount. I'm probably just gonna scrap that. I'm not gonna bother repairing it. So let's just get rid of it. Oh, sweet, look at that, a leather duster. Okay. We're gonna wear that straight away, that's nice. Okay, we're in the cracker book now. Let's see if we can find ourselves a crucible schematic. That'd be nice. I doubt it though. Lucky loot of volume two. Find more ammunition in loot. Okay. That's good. More bullets is is good. Let's check this um desk. Okay, we've worked someone out. Let's just shut the door for now so we can carry on looting. Paper. Another cracker book case. Okay, we've got two more Spear Hunter books, Volume 1 and Volume 4, and we've got the Shotgun Messiah Volume 7. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. That's sweet. Up, bro. Um, yeah, I think that's this room done. Let's move on. Oh, dude, look at all the books in here. Yes. <laughs> Get the jackpot guys i love the new little little piles of books as well they look really cool man i like that before everything was very two-dimensional and uh a lot of the new assets that they've added with the books and the stuff and the shelves and all this stuff it really does add to the pois it really makes them feel a lot more full instead of before they felt very empty Anything behind there? No. Look at all these bookshelves. Where are you at? Oh, she fell on her ass. <laughs> oh, she survived. Oh, right in the butt. <laughs> Alright, let's check these bookshelves, shall we? So far, a lot of paper. Which makes sense, you know. Not all books have got good knowledge in them. Oh, okay, so that's double-sided now. So if I look at this side, then the other side is empty. So that's one whole deal. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, okay, I'll have to remember that. Oh, right, we've got the ones on the end. More paper. That's a bit disappointing. A lot of paper. Another one here, though, look. And once again, more paper. Yeah. Okay, a lot of paper there, but... Paper's good for making shotgun shells, so when we do find a shotgun shell, they'll come in really handy. Uh, let's go up the other end and work our way back down. Damn it. I wasn't trying to break the cash register. Damn zombies. Alright, any more books? A book would be nice. Maybe a book, perhaps? Any books anywhere? There we go, a book, finally. Twist knees. Turn your enemy's knees into Swiss cheese with this advanced trick. Each successive leg shot 
on the same target increases the chance to cripple by 10 percent okay finally at least at least it's some kind of book i mean i'm not going to complain yeah that's really weird how they've done that with the shelves um i'm gonna have to get that's gonna take some getting used to more paper Okay, I think that's all the bookshelves and all of the bookstore part of the POI done. Let's continue this way and we'll see if we can get ourselves up to wherever the main loot is. Woody, good night. Love this. Sweet dreams. Okay, shotgun crate. Okay, bullets, armor, and arrows, that's not too bad. Gunpowder, hmm, delicious. Be hiding in here. I think delicious backpack there tuna fish um, let's scrap this spear and we'll use the stones to repair this we are getting pre full let's eat this tin of pears and these peas as well Grab the hat and the can, and I think that's freed up a little bit of space for us. All right, let's continue. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Whoa, I didn't see him come out of the window. <laughs> I guess he didn't see a blunderbuss in my hand either. All right, a kitchen of some sort. More tuna fish. And we're probably going to have to go and unload again um, into the mini bite because we are kind of full up. Uh, yeah, we've only got a couple of spaces. So let's go back down. We'll unload into the mini bike and we'll come back up and carry on looting. Oh, dude, do the dog. What? Why did you not die? I shot you in the face. Uh-oh. Come on, reload. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're infected and we're bleeding and we've got a laceration. Um, let's make a quick bandage. Dude, that dog, man. Come running across there and... I missed the initial shot with the blunderbuss, but the hunting rifle from point blank range in the face did nothing to him, man. He just shrugged it off. Okay, so we need to deal with that laceration. I think that's a sewing kit we need for that, and also we're infected now, so let's hope we got some antibiotics back at the base, because if we haven't, we could be in big trouble. Hey, that looks to me like there's a zombie hiding in there, so let's fire an arrow. And there it is, look, a soldier zombie. Let's use a hunting rifle on him. See if we can bust his head wide open. Nope. Okay, let's turn around and run. Okay, that's took care of him. See another one over there. I think that was a head explosion. Right, okay. Be careful here. Oh, a supply drop's coming in to the north. That's our first supply drop. We might have to go check that out. I mean, now that we've got the. Uh oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, now that we've got the mini bike, I think um, the supply drops are something we can actually try and get hold of. Okay, there we go. Damn. 
Um, we need to hurry up and get a move on because this infection is building up fast. Oh, okay, down this ladder here. Right. And there it is. There's our loot. Yeah, we've got to be super careful, man. Um, is there any medical stuff here? Yeah, there is. Come on, give me a damn something I can use. Ah. Uh, Right, okay, we need a sewing kit. We've got some back at the base, so it's not a problem. Okay, muffled connectors schematic, we'll read that. We'll um we'll use these custom fittings mod summer. 30 silver, that's nice. Um I'm gonna scrap the pipe. That's all garbage. Bullets and arrows, sweet. Right, let's crack these crates open. Right, we've got a shamway box. Gun store box. Look at all those parts, bro. Jesus. Um, machine gun, shotgun, robotics, steel club, and steel knuckle parts. Um, okay, this is where we hit a bit of a predicament, man. Uh, I'm going to throw the fat away. Um, can we make a duct tape with that? Yeah, but that will just take up four cobblestone. We'll throw that away. Um, seven iron. We don't need that. We don't need one corn. We've got four spaces. We still need another space. Let's scrap these cowboy boots. And we've got one more box to go as well. St working stiff box. Okay, a metal pick. An iron pick. Um, let's use this splint. Oh, we can't. All right, let's just leave it here. It doesn't matter. The new stone axe there. We'll grab that. Um, let's put a couple of things in this box so we can modify our stone axe. Okay, that weren't too bad. We only left a couple of things behind, but let's get out of here. We'll go back to base. We'll heal ourselves up, lick our wounds, and we'll uh, go from there. I'm pretty sure you have to go this way to get back out. Yeah, I think we can drop down here. There we go. Sweet. And drop down from there. Nice. Right, let's get on the mini bike, get back home. And then we'll unload our loot. Sort out our laceration and our infection if we can. Um, I hope I've got some... Uh, I hope I've got some antibiotics. If not, we're going to have to go maybe see the trader and see if he's got any because we can't let that infection build up. Um, it could become a serious problem if we don't deal with it quickly, so we'll have a look. Okay, so we sorted out the uh, laceration with a um, sewing kit, but we don't have any antibiotics, which is a bit worrying. So I'm hoping there might be some in that supply drop that just came down. So let's unload everything real quick and we'll get out there and grab that supply drop as quick as we can. Hopefully it's got something in it to heal this infection. Um, yeah, because otherwise it could start. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Am I that dumb? Honey, use. Damn, I almost forgot about the honey for a second there. Look, the whole time I had some honey in my mini bike as well. What a dumbass. <laughs> right, okay, this iron pick we found, I'm probably just going to smelt it down because I do want to make um, some level 3 stuff. So if we have a look on here, we got. Um, some skill points to spend if we go to strength and we go to minus 69er bam that allows us to make level three tools so that's that's a lot better than the stone stuff we got at the moment we can make a new pick a new hatchet uh sorry a new fire axe and um maybe a new shovel as well depends how much iron we got laying around now the other point i've got i really want to put it into Something that can help me deal with this stamina problem that I'm having because um, any kind of armor you wear just that's that's uh, heavy armor really does kill your stamina. So maybe we can just try and get another level of T-Rex. Um, we need strength level three for that. So let's just go another level of strength. It helps us with our sledgehammer anyway. So the next level we get, we go into T-Rex. We get a little bit more stamina and we won't be so uh, tired all the time. Let's try out this new candy. Um, now this one, Sugar Butts, it gives you better bartering. 
So we'll grab that and we'll eat it before we sell him stuff and see how much of a difference it really makes. It says ten percent. Let us speak, survivor. What's up, Bob? Um Let me just eat my magic trick and then we can talk. Um <laughs> There we go. Right, let's modify this armor with one of these. I didn't see that cooling mesh mod. I'm going to keep that. Right. So, let's sell him a load of stuff. Decent. Yeah, we're definitely getting more, more bang for our buck. I don't know why I've got this acid with me. I'm going to keep that. Um, I think that's it. I don't know why I've got all this other stuff on me. I must have forgot to put it away. But thank you, kind sir. See if he's got any jobs real quick. That's East. Let's do this one. Can you help me with my problem. Great. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay, Bob. No worries. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go put some stuff away, and we'll go to the East. Now it looks to me like this could possibly be in another town. Hopefully, so. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Right, let's go unload all this extra stuff that I accidentally brought out and we'll go do that quest. And we'll hopefully find a new town and hopefully some, some of the new POIs that we want to try and start checking out. So we'll see what we find. Right, okay, I think I did, by the looks of it, I did turn the mark airdrops option on. So we're going to go check that out and then we'll go do the quest on the way back because I really want to see, I'm curious to see... Um, what it is you get in the airdrops in Alpha 19, whether they've changed that any at all. So let's have a look. We'll go drive north. Um, maybe we'll find a new town on the way. Oh no, it's only there. Look, 470 meters. Not too far. Um, yeah, you can get rid of the icon now. I can see it. I'm right next to it. <laughs> hey, listen, lady. I saw it first. Mine. Right, let's see what's inside these things now. A med kits, a beaker, some uh, painkillers and bullets. Okay. Oh, dude, looks like we found the other, another trader as well. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, in fact. Let's mark that on the map straight away. Um, yeah, look, trader. Save waypoint. Trader. You. Done. That is cool, man. So we found another trader. And it's not too far either, so that's good. I mean, to be fair, nothing's too far now now that we've got the mini bike. But, um... Oh, dude, look at this. Oh. <gasps> It's one of the new POIs. Ah, oh, I've got to totally want to loot this place. Savage country. Oh, let's just not look at it for now. Pretend it's not there. <laughs> let's loot this gas station. And um, if we've got time, we'll loot it. Okay, let's double loot this car at least. Oh, a battery. That could be useful. Right. Let's get this started. Come on. Knock, knock. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're going to make all your noise. Just get over here and die, please. I've got time for you, bro. Take all the money. Give me the money. Oh, delicious. Oh, Jesus. We run out of stamina. Ah. Ah. <laughs> nice. It's a blunder beast to the rescue. Come on, lady. <laughs> is that it no there's one upstairs right let's loot down here quickly jesus christ i, sh I should probably be a bit more careful um we don't want to die obviously um all right what's this a couple of wire tools mechanical parts claw hammer that's nice more mechanical parts, nice. Always useful. Empty freezers. Another shelf here. 
cupboard. Older fountain. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's check this pile of trash. And I think that's it. Let's crack this box open. Maybe there's an engine in it. If there is, we can make a cement mixer. Because that's that's another thing I wanted to make. Oh, yes, look at that. Steel tool schematic. Wait. That is nice. Um, I think we've got some steel tool parts as well. I might be thinking of my other playthrough, but... I think we might have some. I'll have to check when we get back. Yeah, vulture. Okay, that crawler's not a, not a problem. He's going to take a while to get to us. Let's dispatch that guy's brains. And we'll deal with the crawler. And then we'll see what loot we got. Ouch. Oh, I'm actually freezing cold. Um, that's not good. Come back here. Ow. Chop this bird up. Right, let's see what we've got up here then. Some food. Ammo pile. Nice. Okay, a bunker buster mod. A retracting stock mod. Some diamonds and some silver. Crack this open, see what's inside. And we'll go back to the trader. Okay, two forged steel, that's decent. Right. Get back down here. I think I can hear a lumberjack trying to smash on a wall somewhere. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's Savage Country place, mate. I really do want to uh, loot that, but I think we're probably going to have to leave that for the next episode. So perhaps we'll just loot that at the start of the next episode and then we'll work our way around this town and uncover it, see what we can find. <laughs> right, we're going to take the Magnum ammo all day long and let's sell him this wire tool. 13 silver nuggets and this schematic as well. Um, clear zombies to the east. That's probably in the town we were just in, so we'll take that. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at while I was here was a cement mixer. So, what do we need to make a cement mixer? Let's have a look, shall we? Cement mixer. So we definitely need another engine. I think that's it. We've got mechanical parts. We've got springs. We've got the iron. Yeah, so we need another engine. So while we're at tomorrow, we're going to use our wrench. We're going to wrench up as many as many cars and stuff as we can. Try and get ourselves another engine. If we can get another engine, we can get some concrete mix going. Um, and I'm probably just going to build something over here somewhere. Just something simple. Just to deal with the day seven horde and we can elaborate on it slightly as the hordes get more difficult we'll build it up and build it up let's get rid of this guy because once it starts running he's going to be a problem so can we crouch there we go see if we can get him And you know what? Let's take care of this guy as well because we don't need him coming over in the middle of the night. Oh, well, there we go. We got a skill point out of it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go out tomorrow. We'll decide what we're going to spend our skill point on. We'll sleep on that. And in the morning, we'll use our skill point up. We'll go get ourselves a second engine so we can actually uh, make this cement mixer. We're going to get our shovel. We're going to put the mod that we had on our old shovel, which is the Grave Digger mod, onto there. Complete that. And also, while we're waiting, we're going to get ourselves a fire axe as well. Why not? Now we've got a full set of iron tools. We've got the pick, the fire axe, and the shovel. Um, obviously, this wood splitter mod is going to go onto the shovel. Right, okay, that weren't too bad. Um, we had a nice little run there. We found some decent loot. Uh, we also found that savage country place, which I want to loot in the next episode, so that should be interesting. Um, I've got my fire axe here, so I'm going to stick the mod onto that. Beautiful. And also, I've got some boxes crafting, because what I want to do is I want to move all my stuff from downstairs to up here. Um, then I ain't got to worry about zombies 
bashing through the walls of the house smashing through my crates so yeah that's something we'll do overnight we'll get that done and in the morning we'll be ready to go loot that savage country place so yeah i hope you enjoyed the episode guys if you did enjoy the episode don't forget to hit that like button and if you want to see more from jimmy bow 1000 seven days to die alpha 19 hit the subscribe button and remember guys stay safe have fun and i'll see you next time peace out